Hi everyone! I hope everyone is doing well. So as you may have seen from the title and the thumbnail of this video, we'll be taking a look at the variations of PB36. So since we already took a look at the cerulean blue version and the cobalt turquoise version of PB36, there is actually one other one that I wanted to show you, which is this one. I wrote down blue turquoise because I really don't know what to call it and I feel like not many manufacturers have made this hue of PB36 yet. Now I might be wrong, so please do correct me down below as we go through this together, but I just thought that I'd show this for you guys to see. For those of you who might be a beginner and wanting to buy, you know, these a PB36 either on the cerulean blue option or on the cerulean blue side of the spectrum or the turquoise side of the spectrum. I just think that hopefully this video would show you that there are ones in betweens and maybe this will help you make a more informed purchase when you buy your paints. All right, so like I said, we've already looked at cerulean blue and cobalt turquoise and I'm gonna be going from warmest to coolest so this would be like red and this would be green if that makes sense okay so the ones boxed out here are sort of like you know when you think of pb36 cerulean blue pb36 i chose um, white knight's cobalt azure blue so these are the colors that i'll be using today for each one and this is quite typical of course there are variations within each category itself, but this is the range that you'll probably find out there on the market. Okay, let's, I'll just get straight into it and then hopefully you'll see the differences as we go along. All right, I'll start with these two at the bottom. So this section will all be PB36, but I wanted to show you Cerulean Blue PB35 where we're in the warmest side of the spectrum, and then cobalt dark green PG26, which is on the green side of the spectrum, just as a reference. Okay, here we go. Um, I'll swatch these first and then I'll zoom in here in a bit. Cerulean blue. This one is by Rembrandt, made with PB35. I don't have all cerulean blues or all, what do you call it? All pigments from all brands. So please do check out um, Otto's channel, Dr. Otto Kano. I'll leave some links to her channel below and some of her PB36 videos. Hopefully that will help you in your purchase or your research. <laughs> and this one is now this Schmincke cobalt green dark won't be um, it'll be much more green than this one the greenest on the spectrum but at least it'll give you an idea of where we're headed okay, something like that so as you can see that's definitely blue and that's definitely green all right, I'll zoom in a little bit. Okay, I think we're zoomed in enough. I'll start off with Cerulean Blue by Da Vinci. So as we saw earlier in the Cerulean Blue PB36 comparison video, Da Vinci seemed to be the warmest out of the ones that I compared. So that's why I'm gonna be using this one on this side. as the one that is most warm. And with Da Vinci's, it's not dull at all. It's very bright. I wouldn't say bright like Thalos and, and all that, but it's definitely not dull or muted. So that is 
what I would call the warm version or the warm shade of Cerulean Blue PB36. And now we're getting to the Cerulean Blue, just plain Cerulean Blue made with PB36. The thing is, I haven't denoted this as green shade or anything because normal cerulean blue down here is made with pb35 and that one is already warmer than pb36 in general so i feel like this cerulean blue i'm just gonna leave it as cerulean blue but for those looking to buy cerulean blues made with pb35 or pb36 the pb36 version is usually like it's usually darker sometimes more pigmented or slightly cooler as well and that's why i haven't denoted it as green shade or anything so we'll be using the white knights version of that called cobalt azure blue and that's this one cobalt azure blue made with pb36 So there won't be a lot of, um, it's not a big difference between this one and the Da Vinci's because both of them are basically cerulean blue, but this one just feels a little bit, the tiniest bit cooler. All right. And then next up, we have what I would call the blue turquoise version of this, this pigment, which I feel like isn't as common in people's palettes, I guess, because we normally see cerulean blue like this one, or it just goes straight to cobalt turquoise. So let's swatch this out together. I'm interested to know if any of you have this color this this hue of this pigment and if you prefer it over like let's say cobalt turquoise or if you use it as a cerulean blue in your palette i think that would be very interesting because i know for sure that i'm pretty i'm pretty picky with my phthalo turquoise but that's because it's my favorite pigment but yeah, so as you can see, from this to this, there's not much of a difference. But from this to this, you can clearly tell that it's starting to get more green. All right, next we have the normal, typical cobalt turquoise. So when people say cobalt turquoise, this is the color that you think of that's made with PB36 at least. Guys, I don't even know why I keep saying made with PB36. Obviously, it's PB36. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, so here's Magello's. There's not much of a difference between this one and this one, but personally, I feel like Magello's version is the slightest bit more green, I would say. So there we go. Like I said, it won't get as green as the Schmincke Cobalt Green down here, but at least you get a full spectrum of what PB36 could possibly look like and just be careful when you make your purchases. Do your research before buying. Make sure you're at least, you know, 90% certain of what you want. And hopefully this will help you in picking out the correct hue that you like or that you you wish to buy so i'll wait for these to dry completely and then i'll show them to you in daylight completely dry in daylight and if you're interested i'll also have a scan at the end of this video so take a look at that if you'd be interested 
Personally, I prefer my cerulean blues to be made with PB35, and that's just a preference. I know Jane Blundell uses cerulean blue chromium from Daniel Smith, which would fall into this category. And personally, I've tried the Daniel Smith version, and that's just... Mm, I, I think it's not the type of hue I like, just because I like my skies in my paintings to be bright and, and you know, the, the type of sunny sky you'd get. But I feel like Daniel Smith's version, and possibly this one as well, it's a little bit more muted than I prefer my cerulean blues to be. So I'd say I like my cerulean blues in this warm area. As for the turquoise, I've used Magello's Cobalt Green Deep for a very long time before I got to try these cobalt turquoises that are more well known. And I've just gotten used to Magello's version. It's, it's darker, but I feel like because it leans more green, it's similar to my Thalo turquoises, but just a granulating version. And I really like that for what it is. But after trying the cobalt turquoise in, in this area here, I just think it's much more versatile compared to the Magello Cobalt Green Deep because in this area here, it leans a bit too green for me to be versatile, of course. But what about you guys? Do you use PB36s at all, or are you the type of person to just go with PB35 Cerulean Blue and then just you don't care for turquoises, maybe? I understand turquoise is just one of those colors that either you love it or you hate it. <laughs> but yeah, I'd love to know what your preferences are in terms of PB36. Do you use all the shades, all the hues? Or are you more of a one or the other? Or maybe you use both? Or maybe you just don't use PB36s at all? That'd be interesting too. <laughs> okay, well, I think that's all I have to say for today. Hopefully this will be useful for some of you, if not any of you. Oh, and did you notice my bulldog clips? Blue and turquoise. <laughs> okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to drink lots of water and stay hydrated.